I'm Eric Russell, and I'm out about at Rosemead with Beth Penalitis, the executive director. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Eric. Thanks for thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me here today. You have Rosemead Springtime in the Garden of Southern Affair coming up. Can you tell us about that? We do. Um, it's our annual event, which is Rosemead Springtime, and this year it's um, a Southern Affair. Uh, it happens to be the day of the Kentucky Derby, so we thought we'd play that <laughs> up a little bit. Um, it's our annual fundraiser, which um, is going to be a really fun night, silent auction, um, heavy hors d'oeuvres by Mosaic, uh, the Catalyst Award presentation, um, and really an opportunity for the whole community to come together, uh, see each other, celebrate the work um, of our community over the past year. Let's talk about the Catalyst Award. What is it? How did it get started? And Sure. Um, I mean, the, the Catalyst Awards started with um, Rosemead's first springtime event, uh, and each year we recognize uh, people in the community who have done incredible work on behalf of LGBTQ youth uh, and are really making our community a better and a safer place for youth. Uh, historically, we had two awards, one for an individual and one for an organization or a corporation. Uh, and then last year we added a faith community. Um, so that's sort of where they've come from this year. I'm thrilled about our, um, our honorees. Uh, the individual is Mr. Guy Kinman, um, yes. which if anyone has been around Richmond for any length of time, they know Guy Kinman. He has been uh, a huge activist and advocate in this community. Uh, in the 1980s, he did a billboard project, right. um, which I think a lot of folks have heard about. I mean, he put billboards, um, really spearheaded putting billboards all around the city. Uh, saying someone you know, maybe someone you love is gay, and having a, a hotline number. And that was the first time anybody ever did anything like that in Richmond. Um, and then the, uh, the corporation organization one that we're um, awarding is for the Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond. Okay. Uh, and we have had a wonderful relationship with them that really has grown over the past year. Uh, they, ha they show a huge amount of support to their LGBTQ employees through PRISM, which is their employee network. Right. Uh, and PRISM uh, folks have become very involved in Rosemead. So they did a spring cleaning day where they did gardening and helped clean out the youth center. Uh, we have folks um, who have served on our auction committee, um, who have done library work for us. I mean, they just really jumped in full force um, and have been uh, a great asset to Rosemead. And then the third, uh, the faith community is St. Mark's Episcopal Church, which St. Mark's has been an open and affirming safe place in Richmond for a very long time. Uh, and it's been a place that, for Rosemead, we know if we have young people who are Episcopalians who want to go to a safe, um, a safe faith community, that is a place that they can go um, and be welcome with open arms. Um, we, we realized a couple weeks back too that um, our long relationship with St. Mark's goes to the point that I think almost at every point in our history yeah. there has been a board member <laughs> on the Rosemary board who is a parishioner at St. Mark's. I mean it's just that relationship has always been so strong and they've always been very supportive. So besides springtime you have another event coming up within a short time frame. You've got Rosemary Prom. We do, we do. I, I we seem to do it every year where we have springtime one weekend and prom the following weekend. Uh, so prom is so much fun. Uh, it's, uh, it's really the time that the Rosemary youth and the youth uh, really all over Central Virginia can come together and celebrate um, one of those rites of passages that I think a lot of LGBTQ youth don't get to do or they don't get to go to prom in their preferred clothing or with the person that they want to go with and um, and prom is just one of those fun things where um, it's a safe place where they can go and dance and have fun with friends uh, and really be themselves. And the turnout's gotten bigger and bigger each year. It continues to grow um, and the First Unitarian Universalist Church over on Blanton has been fantastic. I mean, they have provided the space for several years now, uh, and they have volunteers who will help out with food. Uh, and and they said, we're going to do it until you outgrow the space, which we have a, a ways to go. Yeah. But um, but turnout does keep getting bigger and bigger. And um, you know, we get calls from people um, as far east as Norfolk and as far west as Harrisonburg, up in Fredericksburg. I mean, so there's um, word spreads because we're the only event like this around. If people want to be more involved with either springtime in 
It's the Southern Affair, Rose Me Southern Affair. I want to keep calling springtime in the garden after all these years. <laughs> Spring, Rose Me, a Southern Affair, or with the Rose Me Prom, how can they get involved? Um, I would say just give us a call, uh, which our number is 804-644-4800, or visit the website, rosemeyrosmy.org. Uh, our emails are all on the website, too. Uh, tickets are still being sold for Rosemey Springtime event, okay. uh, which you can find that on our website or on that website, which is rosemeyspringtime.org. Um, so please come out and join us. Um, there's information on the prom. And if you have any questions or would like to get involved, just give us a call. This is excellent. A fun time spring here in Richmond. There's a there's a lot going on. Um, it is always fun. And, well, I don't know. It keeps being spring, fall, winter. I'm not I know. sure what it we is. We run through all the seasons. <laughs> just wait. Every five minutes it will change. Uh -huh, we might have true. snow next. <laughs> <laughs> this has been absolutely wonderful. I'm Eric Russell. I've been out and about with Beth Panelinus here at Rosemead talking about events here in the spring. Hope to see you at one of them. Because you never know when I'll turn up next. Thank you for having us here. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you next time. Bye.